What's up guys, iPod Touch, I'm here with an awesome video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a semi-untethered jailbreak on your iOS 5 device. So as of right now, there's only a tethered jailbreak, which I will be making a video on, and you can get that in the link in the video description below once it has been made. And basically what that means is you're not going to be able to reboot your device. So you won't be able to turn your device on if you are on a tethered jailbreak. This semi-untethered jailbreak will let you actually turn on your iDevice after you turn it off for whatever reason and um, you won't be able to use any of your jailbroken functions but you will still be able to use all of your applications although with the exception of Safari and Mail and one other application but all the other apps will work and I'll show you guys that once I'm done this video but um, what you guys are going to want to do is open up Cydia first off and you guys are going to have to add a source and also download something so I am on a tethered jailbreak on iOS 5 I'm going to click manage then I'm going to click edit add and I'm going to type in the big boss big boss dot org slash semi tether and I'm going to click add source right there just like that it's going to add the source and then we're going to have to download something and um, it's going to be called semi tether so this is the closest th thing that we're going to get to an untethered jailbreak on iOS 5 as of right now um, we're just going to let this load return to Cydia so now what you guys are going to want to do is simply click on the new source you just added click on semi tether and install it. You can also just search semi-tether and install it that way. But here we are, it's installing it, and now it's gonna say reboot device, and I'll prove to you guys that I will be able to reboot my device on iOS 5 Tether Jailbreak. It's waiting for it to load. And there we go, we have a semi-untethered jailbreak here. So to do that, guys, it's pretty easy. Just follow the steps in the video. As you guys can tell, all the applications still work except for Cydia, uh, Mail, and a couple other ones. But that's pretty much it, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.